Hey, I'm uh, in a whole different state and a whole different house and I have a baby here. This is Asher. I almost said Asher say hi. Um, he can't actually, he's working on mimicking sound so he can kind of say hi now. Um, I'll try to upload a video of the, him saying it but this is Asher. He is 10 weeks old now. He's over two months. We had his two month appointment like a week and a half ago. So. He is adorable. He's just sitting with me right now. He's in between naps. He's a really good baby. He barely ever cries unless you're hungry. Sometimes you cry when you're hungry. There's a lot of updates to get through. Uh, first off, obviously, Asher. He, like I said, is 10-ish weeks old. I'm really not good at keeping track of that. I'm gonna do a lot of videos of just like my experience and not a lot i'm gonna do a video of my hospital experience having the c-section and like aftercare um i want to do what i packed in my hospital bag which uh looking back on could have easily fit everything in backpack and that's fine uh, and then just like mommy baby type content but also like normal i say normal like also other content you know what i miss is doing like dollar tree stuff and workout stuff but like you know if you're gonna do workout videos and like try on workout stuff and gear then you need to work out and that's not happening so i am wearing a gym outfit today i'm wearing my gymshark leggings i purposely put these on because i am still not fitting awesome into my pre-pregnancy clothes and i think that'll be a video on its own just trying on like i've not tried on a single pair of jeans I don't want to. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'm wearing this outfit in hopes that that will ignite the motivation inside of me for when Randall gets home here in like half an hour to go to the gym. You're la are you laughing because you think that's not going to happen? Huh? I probably, because this is not the first time I've tried to put on workout clothes to get myself to the gym. <laughs> but I do have a week pass to a gym without committing to it. It's just scary going to a new gym. If you have ever, I'm sure you have, everyone starts over, but like if you, I've been to like probably like three or four gyms ever, like gotten gym memberships and it's nerve wracking every time. So I don't know where anything is. The equipment's always different. I don't like being around a lot of people. <laughs> so I don't know how busy this one's gonna be. We'll find out though. <sighs> It just is giving me anxiety. And that's why I haven't started working out again. And I was clear to start working out like after six weeks. So we're like over a month past that. We're going to try it though. We're going to try it. And the breastfeeding and like the pain of like your boobs. I don't know how that's going to go either. Do I need like a really tight sports bra? Do I need a loose one? It's just like trial and error, I guess. <sighs> I'll update you guys. Maybe I'll even put in a little gym update right after in this video, like a clip of it to see how it went. Or maybe I'll put a clip in saying, I don't know, but we'll see. So I'm embarrassed to say that I, uh, well, actually not embarrassed to say, I went to the gym. I'm here. I ended my session. I don't even know how long I was there for. I, maybe an hour, I'm not sure, but I did embarrassingly pull not one, but two different muscles <laughs> in there because your girl's not worked out in months and months and months. And it's been like a year since I've been able to do like everything that I normally could do. And I can't do all that stuff anymore. And I uh, went in thinking like, oh, I'm going to do less than what I normally do and like less weight. And then for some reason, like I kept putting on stuff that I used to be able to do when I was actually strong. And that's why I pulled muscles. So yeah, I was dumb and I like, because it's a new place and I don't really know where everything is. Like once I got my, to my station and like my stuff set, like I didn't want to go and all the way across the room and get like lighter weights. <laughs> it was just more of like a me thing, a me issue. Um, so yeah, I'm hurting. I did a sit up for the first time. I normally like, I don't remember the last time I wasn't able to do a sit up. <laughs> I'm assuming like when I first started them and like, fifth grade but I I've struggled I did them actually it's weirdly the last two sets of my sit-ups were easier than my first set so I don't know if it's my body just like reconnecting and like being like you can do this and uh, my muscles like activating I don't know but 
normally it's the opposite. Like by the, by the third set, you'd be dying. But it was, no, first set, I was dying, like barely getting up. It was, I know, it wasn't embarrassing. Like, I'm sure people looked at me and were like, this chick, this is the first time working out ever. That's okay. <laughs> it's a baby process. The gym itself was like really big and intimidating um, and did not have air conditioning. So I don't know if I'm gonna end up staying there. I have a week pass. There's another gym in the area that's really, really tiny. And I went and took a tour of it, but I think there's less people there. There weren't a lot of people here, but that gym has air conditioning, so. First world problems, okay. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys. I went to the gym, so. Were those the updates we wanted, baby? Oh, we bought a house, because we moved to Indiana, we bought a house. Our first, both of us, our first house we've ever purchased. Um, it's a 1940s house, it's old, it's, there's just so much to go in with this. I'm gonna do a lot of like updates of like things that I, we've already changed so much about it, just in like paint, light fixtures, um, I'll get into the floor fiasco. Uh, there's, there's just, there's stuff. But when you buy old houses or used houses, you're always gonna have that kind of, you probably even have that stuff with new. Um, I will say, quote me on this, but our next house purchase, I pray that it is a brand new house and it's just like clean because I'm not even gonna go into it. I went to a development with some of the stuff we found here. So, all righty. I think all I wanted to do in this video was just update you, show you sweet baby. And um, you know what else I have is a glam bag box plus X. I don't know, this box is glam X on it. So I don't know if this is gonna be different, um, but it's on my table and I don't wanna do a whole separate video of it. So we're just gonna do it here because um, I really am excited to open this. Let me go get it. I know they have three tiers and if this is the tier I've never had before, unless they just say glam bag, X and I just have never noticed that. But it's purple, so that's a whole different, it's always pink. I think Papa just got home. Are you going to cry? If you're getting hungry, he's been eating, he's been cluster feeding. You've been getting hungry a lot. Yeah. Okay, it says Glam Bag X inside too. I think this is a different one. Do I need to look up before I even get into it? What's Glam Bag X? Might have to take a feeding break. <gasps> Glam Bag times Alicia Keys, baby! You can't cry at that. That is so exciting. That's so exciting. This is a $58 upgrade box where you get up to $350 and eight full size products. So I, one, I'm surprised that Ipsy even still sends me these things because like at this point, and I love you like five who continue watching my channel, but there's like only really like a handful of us in here. So uh, I appreciate you. That's all I'm saying. So. Let's get into this. This is the most exciting glam bag probably I will ever have. Glam bag, glam box, whatever. The first, oh, and Alicia Keys, the only really thing I know about her um, is that she is a singer, an amazing one, and she gave up makeup years and years ago. Like she came out publicly and said she was not wearing makeup anymore and she just went oh natural and it's just a beautiful human being without makeup, so that's amazing. I'm just doing a video. <laughs> the first thing I'm playing, it kind of, so I'm, what I, I guess what I was trying to say in that is I don't think that they would have makeup in this, but um, I'm, it's Ipsy and they're makeup based, so they probably will, but I just, I can't imagine Alicia, unless it's like really natural stuff, would wear this. This is the Baby One Talc Free Eyeshadow Palette by Lawless. I have not heard of that brand. You get a ton of eyeshadow palettes in Ipsy, so if any of you like in Ipsy, not Ipsy, eyeshadows, palettes specifically, uh, just sign up for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and you will get a lot of them. Ooh, these are really like warm toned, natural, fall type eyeshadows. And the next thing is by Keys. 
Does Alicia have a skincare line? Maybe she does. Maybe that's part of the collab. It has to be, right? Uh, this is Soul Care, is what she calls it. Be Luminous Exfoliator. It has a lot of things I can't pronounce. Lactic acid being one of them I can pronounce. And I love exfoliants, especially because I have acne prone skin. It just feels good. You're not supposed to use it a ton. I use it every night in the shower, though. I feel like my skin isn't like awful right now, though. So I'm doing something right. Oh, this is so pretty. I think this is glass. This is something like you just want to have out on your vanity and just show people. And then you get sad when it goes um, away and you use it all and then you have to buy more. And I'm assuming this is probably a pretty expensive, it looks expensive, just aesthetically looks expensive. I will definitely use that though because like I said, exfoliants are something I always use. We'll put another one by, again, I'm assuming it's her brand. Maybe I should look that up. I'm almost positive it is. I'm gonna do what I used to do and just have like the running total of what everything's worth because full size are easy not to do any calculations, which makes me happy. It is her, yeah, we should have known. It's her skincare line. Still super like affordable. So this is $32 and that exfoliator was only $25. I say only, but like if you're going to like a Sephora type, like you can be getting into the 150 range. I would never buy that, but some of you I know do buy it. <laughs> her skin's flawless too. Mine's not. I don't, I'm just like at the point, like I never expect my skin to be flawless. I will always have acne. There's not a scent to it, but that actually makes me feel better and safer. And <laughs> it's not going to break me out. I have sensitive skin that's, like I said, very acne prone. Um, and I have hyperpigmentation in areas too. It's just like, I don't have, this camera makes my skin look better than it is. It's, it's just like splotchy in areas, especially like right here. And I can see like on screen, it's red there. And like my nose, and there's just different areas. Are you up now? You are. Okay, oh, another keys one. This is the Sidian Facial Ruler. I've always wanted a face ruler. I wouldn't mind if this whole box is just Alicia's stuff. Mm. Ooh, it's black and heavy and just feels. Imagine this in the, because it's already really cold feeling. Are you supposed to put skin, I don't even know how these work. Are you supposed to put like, I'm assuming you're just not about your face. Skincare on this and then like roll it out. That feels so cold and wonderful actually. This would be nice waking up in the morning like to wake me up. Why have I never used one of these before? Does it say anything on here? Treat yourself to a gentle stimulating massage with our obsidian roller. Obsidian stone is a volcanic glass created from quickly cooled lava. The roller will feel cool to the touch, definitely does, helping skin feel revitalized while improving skin tone and texture. For enhanced experience, use with the skin transformation cream to help absorb easily into skin. And I have both of them now. Starting on the neck, gently roll upward and outward in smooth strokes. Continue making your way to the face with rolling motions across the chin, cheeks, eye area, and forehead. Use as desired. For a more invigorating experience, place the ruler in the refrigerator for a few minutes before using. Yes, I will do that. Hmm, this is probably my favorite. It just, it honestly just feels amazing. Um, by ooh Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. That sounds painful. <laughs> this is supposed to plump your lips. I know sometimes I don't need a lip. Let's be honest here. I, like I don't need a lip enhancer, or lip injection. Like I'm, it's like one thing on my body like I enjoy <laughs> are my lips um, and the size of them. And I don't want them smaller and I don't want them bigger. But here I am putting this on, so we'll see if it does anything. Okay, before. I'll come at the end, if I remember, and do an after. So far, so good on pain. We're not hurting yet, are we? Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. I 
surprisingly had not tried a shadow stick until like a year ago and I thoroughly enjoy them and this is ooh, a really neutral color it's in the shade ombre cream no I'm just kidding vanilla and it looks it honestly looks like a concealer I don't think you're gonna be able to see this on my face okay the lips are not feeling great right now it is starting to burn I expected that when it said extreme though I am not liking that mm -mm. Heracone MD vitamin C ester citrus brightening cleanser Ow. why I'm gonna keep it on for you guys just to see how big they get but no I know that doesn't feel good this is a I want to try their Paracon MD uh, makeup if any of you have tried the I'm being a baby right now it doesn't hurt that bad just doesn't feel good I want to try their foundation so if any of you have tried that let me know what you guys think of it I do have like oily dry skin combo skin so I don't know if it's gonna be good for that and I don't like for full coverage anymore um just something really light and that helps with redness so this is just a citrus brightening cleanser i love vitamin c my skin loves vitamin c i use the vitamin c serum every um night lastly last thing is by the world woke cool stem eye mask and it's in a really fancy box i don't know there's like some weird stuff in here. I don't know if it like broke open or the glue is just really slimy. Um, either way, I need to wash these to see. I hope they're okay. So you're supposed to put these in the fridge or the microwave and you can make it hot or cold. I have actually like a heating eye mask that I used to use for my styes. It helped a lot, but then now it just helps me fall asleep. Even if I don't have styes, I use it. So you just put it inside the I don't want to touch it because my hands are nasty. I need to go, maybe one of these exploded. I don't know. I need to go wash my hands though. Okay, so it comes with this eye mask and you put the packs inside of it because it has two little inserts. So that's really cute and pretty and I just got water on it. So that's not a stain, don't worry. Very luxurious looking. And then it comes with three of these steam sessions, which is supposed to reduce dark circles and puffy eyes. So this dry, irritated eyes and headache relief. I had a really nasty headache the other night. Lip update. Honestly, they just look red. <laughs> they look irritated and not much bigger at all. Maybe a tiny bit. I don't think so though. They're just red. I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> Favorites, because that was everything favorite thing is definitely going to go to this ruler i still don't know how i've never tried one of these before um second why am i doing a second favorite i never do second i always say a least favorite i'm gonna say like and i hate doing least favorites because sometimes there is like actual least favorite like maybe they gave like a tiny 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 little sample that makes you a little angry especially when i used to do birch box that would happen um but in these like there's not really a least favorite and i'm always really excited with all of them but definitely favorite is going to go to this i'm so excited to try alicia's skincare i'm actually like down to my very last things i didn't travel back here with a lot of stuff because you know when you use um, a moving like company we use u-haul pod things it was going to be my stuff was going to be three weeks in the heat so i knew that that was not going to work with my skincare so i needed this i needed this a lot and i don't have a job anymore because i'm staying home and i don't have money to spend on this stuff so i appreciate it okay i think that's everything like i said i'm going to come back with like more specific videos um hospital experience doing c-section hospital bag what i use and what i could have just brought and been fine um baby products baby stuff mommy related content but also just like again gym um uh, what i used to do plus more and i have a lot more time on my hands so we're gonna do this okay um that's everything say goodbye asher you've been a very good baby